beat up car on TMZ, man. Oh, look at this car, man. Don't put my beat up car on TMZ. <laughs> Man, you can afford something so much better, like a family or hey, something. Hey, man, I got kids in college now. You got kids in college now? This is how now? I'm rolling. Oh, shit. Hold on. You won't even start now? No. Oh, oh that's not good, bud. My cars wouldn't start. TMZ caught up to me. <laughs> ah, and it seemed like every time, it was like a joke. Every time that my car wouldn't start, they happened to be right there. You know? They happened to be right there. So it turned into a big joke, which turned out to a huge thing for me because I got a lot of exposure from it. I thought it was pretty cool. Where's the battery? No button in this car. Battery's right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, TMZ. Got... TMZ comes through every fucking time. Yeah, come on. Me... Those are really my cars. Yeah, they're my cars. I mean, I've had beautiful cars. I had brand new Range Rovers and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I actually was very, very lucky to go through that, that period of my life where I didn't care what I drove. I'm not my car. You know, my third son went into college, UFS, which is one of the top international business schools in the country. My other daughter is at Wesleyan College in Connecticut. My other daughter is in Cal State Northridge and had a full ride at Yale. So I ain't worried about no car. You know what I mean? It's not, I, I go to the grocery store, to the cleaners, to the gas station when I'm home. I ain't worried about no car. You know what I mean? So it was a good way for me to, you know, and, 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 and supposedly I'm not worried about no car. But I had to reevaluate my value system when it comes to cars. So I was glad I didn't have fancy cars over the last 10 years. Because when I pull up to the clubs, you know, the girls would kind of look at me funny because of my car. Or I'd pull up to the light and someone would be in a beautiful, beautiful Ferrari, a black Ferrari, and I go, man, I need me one of those. And I say, stop myself. What are you talking about? I ain't doing nothing but going home. So it gave me a real good chance to evaluate where I was as far as material versus internal value. And so I was, able to, I was able to get me some growth internally. It's that kind of consciousness that we gotta be aware of when we're talking about materialism. There's nothing wrong with diamonds or a girl's best friend. There's nothing wrong with having diamonds as, 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 as a material possession because they're very beautiful. They're the best that you know, the universe has to offer as far as a stone and metal gold. You know, in a, on the, in a natural sense, but you don't want to lose perspective on what it's all about. Now, if you have thirty thousand dollars worth, or fifty thousand, or maybe even a hundred thousand dollars worth of diamonds around your neck, okay, and you have regentrification going on in your neighborhood where whites are buying real estate right up under your nose and you subject to having somebody put a cap on your ass to take that diamond thing away from you where you can buy up a whole block of Chicago, what you won't do? I told you I'm dangerous. You ain't know. Car won't start. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I told my soul on eBay. I sold it on eBay. A TMZ car. Because it was so hot from everybody watching it. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah. So I'm going to take my fellas. Let me show you what I bought with the TMZ card. Yeah. All right. Brand new chair for it. Huh? Okay. 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 Say goodbye to the tow truck. Look. Look behind you. Say goodbye, tow truck. <laughs> Hello, TMZ, baby. All right. Well,